Thanksgiving week tradition features the beauty of Cancun and some big time college basketball in Mexico. Fun of the sun and hoops at the Cancun Challenge on the Riviera Maya. the site to the Cancun Challenge. Day two resumes with a third place contest between the Bradley Braves out of the Valley and the Liberty Flames representing the ASUN. Let's take a look at our brackets. Day one of basketball featured an Auburn win over these Braves 85-64. Liberty had a big lead in the first half. Northwestern came back for the win. We'll see Auburn and Northwestern in our championship contest. But again, we start with Bradley and Liberty. We welcome you courtside, Brett Dolden with the coach, Pete Gillen, inside the big ballroom. Delighted to have you with us. Last night, this Bradley team allowed 46 points in the paint to Auburn, Pete, but they are really shorthanded with their bigs. Bradley is on demand. Three starters are out. Okay, other guys have to step up for Bradley. Now for Liberty, all right, Davis McGee's a superstar, but he can't do it by himself, and he had too many turnovers. They had 18 turnovers, the season high, so they had to clean that up. McGee's one of those guys you really enjoy watching him shoot from distance, but he went through a stretch where he did struggle to get a shot. He's an unbelievable player. Darius McGee is one of the best players in college basketball. He's a lot like Steph Curry. He's got great range. He rains out. It's a way downtown. Forget about it. All right, he's good off the bounce, off the catch. He can take over a game at any time. 23 points last time. He's really a great play. He's fun to watch. I really enjoy watching him. Meanwhile, Connor Hickman had a big game last night. Yeah, Connor Hickman uh, is a tremendous player. He's a leader for the Braves, okay? And he's only a sophomore. Tremendous three-point shoot. He had 15 points, three assists, three for five from downtown. He's really an excellent young man. It's the Bradley Braves and the Liberty Flames in our third place game from the Hard Rock Riviera Maya right here on CBS Sports Network. Welcome back to beautiful Cancun, the Hard Rock Riviera Maya, our consolation game, the Bradley Braves and the Liberty Flames. Let's take a look at our starting lineups between these two teams. Coach, who will you have your eye on this evening? Well, for Liberty, keep an eye on now, uh, Colin Porter, good point guard. He's going to take care of the ball and distribute it. And for Bradley, you got to look out now for Duke Dean, the point guard. Had a great game last night. He's going to play well tonight. It's a Bradley team that was defeated by Auburn last night. Liberty, of course, had the big lead against Northwestern coach and then really struggled in that second half. I'm sure they want to see a much better beginning to this game. There's Brian Wardle inside the huddle for the Bradley Braves. Of course, no Deshaun Henry, heartbroken that that young man could not make the trip. He's got a couple of his injured players along for the ride, hoping to get healthy soon, hoping to get a win here in Cancun. On the other sideline for Liberty. Richie McKay's had so much success for the Liberty team. His 10th year, somewhere inside that huddle. Flames going with those blue UDs this evening. Three NCAA tournament trips for the Liberty Flames, hoping to get another one in their final year in the A-Sun before they jump over to Conference USA. Always tough in these tournaments. Second game in as many nights. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Cancun Challenge. Our officials, John Floyd, Jeff Spadowski, and Michael Griffith. And we are underway from Cancun. Common Porter and the Flames control first. Bradley starts in man-to-man, -man, which they play 95% of the time. Ball back in the hands of McGee. McGee being defended by the much taller Leon's Tough shot, Hangs won't drop. Hickman had a great game last night. 15 points. Three for five from downtown and three assists. 
may have missed on that one. Just 12 points in the paint last night for Liberty. And again, that speaks to maybe living and dying at times with some perimeter shots. 18 turnovers was a problem. McGee, quick release from the baseline. That was a season high, Brett. Too many mistakes. In fact, those turnovers, the most they've had since February back in 2022. So it's been a while. There's a whistle and a quick foul. Shiloh Robinson picks up his first, also the first on the flame. Duke Dean controlled it. Hickman was the young man with 13 in the first half yesterday. Leon's on the drive. Step back floater will drop. And the senior from the Netherlands provides the first two for the Bradley Braves. First ever meeting between these two teams, between Bradley and Liberty, and it comes here in Cancun. Shiloh Robinson go to work, tough maneuver. He couldn't finish, Rowe tried to tap it to the basket. Dean had a great game last night. The point guard plays well, Brett, usually your team plays well. They played a, a juggernaut in Auburn last night, though. Dean couldn't hit there, and the rebound comes down to Ben Zand, only a 6-3 guard, but a big rebounding force on this Liberty team. Curious to see if McGee is defended by the 6'9 Leons most of the night. He has to go six, seven feet behind the arc to get a shot off, but that's yep. out of bounds. Yep. He's got Steph Curry's range way downtown. He can also go off the bounce, good mid-range game. Tremendous player. Coach, if you would get 32 points tonight, I know that's a big ask. 32 points would flip that odometer over to 2,000 for his career. Unbelievable. He's not a point guard, he's a points guard. Strong rebound by Rode. Shot won't go, and that rebound pulled down. There was some contact. Leons fell down, and Bradley will play four on five. We're going to share the ball. The Braves are sharing the basketball. Hannah gathers it back in and can't Ooh. score with the left hand. It did a victory lap, but it fell out. Yeah. Hannah's got to get in the body shop. Got to get stronger. Got to have guns like yours, Brett. That's you, know, right. you, got, you got cannons there. Bump me, I get, I get weary. <laughs> McGee, tough drive, hangs wow. in the air and scores. That's a different part of this game we didn't see last night. No. <laughs> really quick, lightning quick with the basket. Duke Dean, 15 shots last night. Did get the 15 points. Top of nine and is the guy who struggled to find his shot in the last couple of games. He's the best shooter, Brett, as you know, but he struggled last night. Got to credit the defense by Auburn. The defense was unbelievable. We get a foul away from the basketball. Brings us to a timeout. These teams feeling each other out. Tied to two in our consolation game. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Triple Crown Sports. Celebrating 40 years of event excellence. By Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya. An all-inclusive experience. And by Bon Voyage DMC. The official transportation provider of the Cancun Challenge. It's a beautiful day to be on the beach. 85 degrees in Cancun. These teams off to a slow start, tying to two. And Coach Gillen, I want you to take me through your keys to the game. Well, for Bradley, lock down Darius McGee. With 23 points last night. You got to lock him down. He's a great scorer. Last year, second in the country. And uh, for Liberty, spread the wealth. Once again, Darius McGee can't do it by himself. 
You got to get spread the wealth. Other guys got to step up and score. You know, Peoples is their second leading scorer, as you know. He only had six points last night, so they got to give help to the superstar. Coach McKay's team last night started one of eight from the field. This evening, fast forward, one of eight from the field. So maybe a little yep. bit slow starting, and these teams combining to go two of 14 in the first four minutes. Well, he might have been on the slide like I was this afternoon. The water was a slide. rumor you were on the water slide. Uh, yeah, it it's wasn't funny, pretty. I was there, but I didn't see you. It wasn't pretty, but I was on <laughs> And then I went into this uh, this bucket of water poured on my head. That was great. I got a big head. I had to have a big bucket. It's like 30 feet in the air, and it pours on your head. It's great. Did you try the zip line? <laughs> no, no, but I, I had to cover my head. But it's fun. I mean, well, you can go a, kayaking. That's you right. can swim in a pool, swim in the beach. It's a great resort here. Most you know. of the activities are by Building 9. That's the place to be. That's the best spot yep. in this entire resort. Coach yep. Wardle knows that. I think yep. he was out there enjoying his second trip to Cancun. Yep. Our great American director, Marty Tarr, is fortunate to get Building 9. <laughs> Extremely fortunate. This has been a jam-packed resort. It's a big resort, the Hard Rock Riviera Maya, and Auburn is bringing a, a record number of fans. We'll see them in game two, Coach. This will be loud. This will be a big-time <laughs> environment for college hoops. Two Power Five conferences knocking heads. SEC against the Big Ten. It's going to be exciting. Both teams are undefeated, so it should be fun. If they're cleaning up a little bit of moisture on the floor. Already played two games today. There's two different brackets: eight men's teams, ten women's teams. Will start tomorrow. Out of basketball inside the Hard Rock, trying to find a little bit of flow, trying to find some points. And the guy will get you some right here. Kyle Rhodes. That's a tough pass. Nice find for Preston and the flush. Great pass by Kyle Rhodes. Pete, I wasn't sure who he was passing to. I thought he was going to throw that to the stanchion. Nice job, and that drive to the basket doesn't result in points. A strong rebound by the same man, Blake Preston. McGee's in range. Logo Darius, but long on the shot. And more contact down low. Let's go back and take a look at this previous play in the pass. Yeah. Kyle Rode now, he's 6'7", senior. He backs his man in. Backs him in here, moves around, looks, sees the floor. Looks like he's going outside. Boom. Nice wraparound pass. Send it home. Good inside. Preston with the dunk. There were three different Braves around that basketball. They couldn't come up with it. And that's knocked out with 19 to shoot. Got a couple of mid-major teams that are always well respected in a threat to win their conference, get to the tournament, trying to take home a third place trophy tonight. That shot won't drop from Preston and another whistle. And Connor Linky, who fouled out in a handful of minutes just an evening ago, picks up a quick foul. He's very physical, aggressive player. Thought he did a good job last night. That's his job. Play defense, be aggressive, be physical, and rebound. It's two on Linky. I think he's had nine fouls in about uh, 25 minutes in the last two games. He has two <laughs> already. Yep. He's the enforcer. He's not here to hold hands. <laughs> he wants to mix it up. McGee, there's the speed. He has to do everything to create space at 5'9". Lightning quick. Vinzance, that wouldn't stay down. I think it was last touched by Hannah. No, it was not. It'll be Bradley basketball. Teams have combined to go three for 18 from the field. Christian Davis ready to check in, replacing Connor Hickman. So right now for Bradley, Duke Dean will be the one who goes out. Hickman will stay in. Hickman had the 13 first half points yesterday. It's 15 equal to career high. Tremendous. Really kept him in the game for the first half. Auburn just got too much depth, too much talent. Liberty's so good with their pack line defense. Hickman will try and get to the basket. He will, and he'll score. That's what you got to do when a defense is that aggressive, that tough. You got to move the ball side to side, then put your head down, go right to the rim, Brett. Right at your mug. A pair of field goals apiece, almost six minutes into our third place game here in Cancun. You might have been on the water slide with me, these teams. Think so. Before I got there. A little water law. 
What were you doing this afternoon? Now you're very cerebral. Were you studying all the notes? Yeah, I'm trying I don't know what that cerebral water slide a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what cerebral means, but I know you're smart, so I figured throw it out there. Christian Davis, nice job shielding his defender with his body and then scoring. <laughs> when you're struggling a half court, you got to push it. You got to try to get steals. You get some baskets in the open court, or if a missed shot like we just saw, push it ahead. Road spinning, he'll just take that shot from the line. Rebound out to Peebles. They need to get this guy going. Peebles can't hit. Preston the put back. That was blocked, and finally Kyle Road will catch, follow, and score. Good persistence by Liberty that time. Richie McKay's an unbelievable job at Liberty. One of the winningest coaches over the last five years, one of the top five winningest coaches. Did a, a great job for the Flames. Shot clock down to single digits. Hickman double team. Leons has to get it up. Just beat the shot clock. And Coach, you were talking about Richie McKay. Active Division I coaches winning percentages. There's Mark Few. There's Kelvin Sampson. You get Self and Drew. Richie number six. I mean, that's quite a list to be on. Yep. The success of winning. Yep. Connor Hickman's a name. Basketball's a game. Fakes left, goes right. Take it to the. When you go to the basket, use the rim. Plays D. Kick it ahead. Kicks it ahead. Send it home. Good offense that time for the Braves. You think we'll Hickman see more of that, it. Coach, against this this pack line defense? Yeah. The further they get pushed away, more exactly. more fast breaks, more drives. You got to push it more, and you got to drive the basket. When you got to knock down threes, when they pack it in, you got to mix it up. But I like driving to the basket when they're playing so physical, Brett, so aggressive. Don't go east and west, side to side. Go north and south. Take it to the cup. And you're going to the backboard, use the back. Leon's with the spin. Left hand trying to coax it off the glass, but Kyle Road is a man at 6'7, mm -hmm. 220 pounds. Yeah, he's a strong guy. A senior from Lexington, Kentucky. Peebles hung in the air, but missed the shot. Hickman the rebound. Three-pointers aren't falling. I've yet to see a triple. No. Almost. These are tight rims. They're not soft. I like rims that are licorice. Soft where they bounce and go up in the air and roll in. But these are tight rims. You get it? Swish it. Preston draws the double team. Again, with no McGee on the floor, they struggle to find somebody who can score. Maybe Blake Preston has an answer. Yep. That was a good catch by Hannah. Hickman wants the screen from Tava Nyman. He'll drive to the basket again. Oh. How about the follow slam from Darius Hannah? Serious hops. You've been playing really well before you got to Cancun. Got to get a little stronger, but. One man from Milwaukee. Oh, There's the alley in the youth. How about the first half from Blake Preston? Who is that guy? Oh, my goodness. Good job. Coming out party, Blake Preston. by Leons in a whistle before the shot attempt. It's going to take us to break. And the shot goes up. You got a box out. Here we go. Peebles goes, throws it up. Blake Preston, throw it home, big guy. Throw it home in Cancun. Well, the Liberty Flames enjoyed some time at the resort. I'm not sure if this is what they mean when they say the shot's wet, but uh, maybe shoot around in the pool. Yep. Coach Schiller. Well, they got to bring some of these jumpers into the gym now, right? The, uh, 0 for 6 from downtown, 0 for life. Yeah, and social media always in full force. Kyle Road standing on the beach. Yep. The hashtag Cancun Challenge. Yep. Great athletic progress. Richie McKay, once again, has done a fabulous job. 
with the Flames. Goes to the NCAA tournament every year. Last year they got beaten in the finals, unfortunately, but uh, uh, unbelievable job. 21st season overall, 10 at Liberty. You see the three A-Sun tourney titles, and of course this is their last year in the A-Sun. They're going to Conference USA. Coach, I think it's a unique spot. I, I know there's some schools probably reluctant to see them leave. There might be a few that'll say good riddance, enjoy yeah. Ruston. It's, it's a different spot to be in. Yeah, no question. But I was at their game about a week ago when they played Southern Miss at home. Beautiful new facilities, a couple years old, a little over 4,000, so it's perfect for the you know, size of the school. Uh, and uh, great atmosphere, place is rocking, and Southern Miss, to their credit, upset the Flames at home. Duke Dean, grab yep. that one out of there. Quick shot there from we go. Christian Davis. That's his first triple of the season. All right. He's an international shooter. I like that. It might take somebody stepping up that hasn't been a big factor in the first five games. Davis averages two. He scored five. Yeah. Uh, Peebles is struggling. He's a good player. I mean, that was a steal for Davis, but it yep. just ended up in his lap. He yeah, just yeah. reached out and yeah. picked it up. He was averaging 16 points coming into this tournament. Only had six last night. Right now, he's not off to a great start. But Coach, he, he was such a big part of that game you attended at Southern yep. Miss, that 26 nothing run. He yeah. was deadly from He's unbelievable. Point. Great shooter, talented player, had a great high school career in Alabama. He'll get, he'll get going. Duke Dean wants to screen. Top of nine and it's not been a big factor. He's really working against the smaller people. Three flames crashing the glass. Rebound down to Isaiah Warfield. <laughs> McGee right by Tavaninen. Shiloh Robinson can't hit. Bradley plays great defense. Over the last five or six years, Fred, as you know, one of the best defensive teams in the Missouri Valley Conference. Ryan Wardle's in a fabulous job. Eighth year at Bradley. And both of these teams have struggled at times offensively. Both really put their weight playing strong defense. We've seen the pack line defense from Liberty. And really, a, it's almost a mentality with Bradley, the, yeah. the intensity by which they want to play with. Yeah, no, physical, aggressive. That's the way Brian Wardle is. A team reflects the coach very often, Brett, as you know. And Brian's a tough, hard-nosed guy, and the team responds well to him. Won the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament a couple of years recently. One year in 1920, the tournament was canceled the year before, 1819. Also an outstanding, two great coaches tonight, and they've done a great job. Both schools love their basketball, their pa passion. Indeed. Three second lane violation, turned it back over to the Bradley Braves. Five turnovers already for the flame. Dean. He had one knocked away, but he's able to get back his own. <laughs> yep, miscue, saved barely by Hickman. Yep. Yep. Liberty's got to take care of the basketball. Here we go, Hickman. Tough, tough shot. shot, tough shot. Warfield challenging Linky. Got a tie up. It'll be probably basketball when we come back, trying to find a little pace and flow in our game. <laughs> Hey, we had some monkey business taking place at our truck. <laughs> had a couple of visitors. Maybe we should name them. What do you think, Marty and Andy? Yeah, they're, 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 some ideas? they're having a great time. <laughs> it's unbelievable. What do you got on that gate, Coach? I mean, that's yeah. a, that's an athletic got maneuverability. He's showing us his ghoulie, you know. But we don't want to look at that. Look at him, he's quick. <laughs> it's a... Look at that. All right, our bracket. So our scores last night, Auburn a winner, Northwestern a winner. Those teams will play in the championship game, 8.30 Eastern time on CBS Sports Network. Can't wait to see a couple of undefeated teams and these outstanding players. No question about it. Lundell Green Jr., point guard's fabulous, leading scorer for Auburn, and Chase Adij, uh, a great shooter, a tremendous defensive player, 20 points last night, so it'll be a great game. Like I said, this has repercussions for the season in March. Both these teams could be in the big dance, and... Uh, Right now, Auburn's 13th in the country and Northwestern's undefeated. So, two excellent teams from Power Five Conference. All right, it's gonna be a great game, as you mentioned on CBS Sports Network. We saw Chris Collins 
late last night. He had the flip flops on. He was going back to work. He said it's going to be a late night for his team and staff with the quick turnaround. By the way, Liberty had the 12 point lead in the first half last night against Northwestern coach. Yep. Since then, they have shot 24% the end of the first, the second half, and the beginning of the game. 24% in that extended stretch. Yeah, so <clears throat> going cold. But you got to credit the defense once again. Both these teams are good defensive teams. And Northwestern is a much better defensive team this year, Brett, as you know, than last year. Right? And they've worked on it all summer, Northwestern, and their defense is much better, more physical. They're playing tougher, mentally, physically tougher. And once again, Darius McGee needs help. He can't do it all. Step back. That's where he's so dangerous. Cam hit, and this Bradley defense causing problems. Yep. Coach Wardle will say, we need to compete, we need to defend and rebound, but we can't do the last two yep. if we don't do the first, and that's compete. They're competing tonight. Yep. He won't like that turnover. No, never. Without three starters, we mentioned before. That's a big loss, three talented players. Isaiah Warfield with the nifty runner in the paint. They do hope at some point to get Zeke Montgomery back. Wink Mask, both of those guys are here. Not sure about Deshaun Henry with his concussion issues. And it's just something where it's even tough to practice, let alone play. Here's the three guys, a knee, a wrist, a, a concussion. It's been a little bit of everything. Yeah, <clears throat> you got to be lucky. Uh, Rick Mask, the first team preseason, all Missouri Valley, hasn't played a second. So, but that's part of the game. You got to deal with it. You know, just. And they like to say it, Bradley, all we need, all we got. Well, yep. all we got's a little bit short. We weren't even sure if Pop Weathers might play. He was feeling ill before the game. He has not been in, so that's one less body if he can't go. Yep. Just the way it is. Bruce Hornsby, I'm a music guy, you know what I mean? So just the way it is, you got to deal with it. You got to deal with me, just the way it is. Well, that's yeah, the way it is. You're getting a, another <laughs> honorary, my heart, so I'm a little upset at that. Warfield got to the basket, not that time. It was blocked. Nice block. McGee needs one of these to splash through. Liberty 0 of 9 from distance. They shoot 36% from downtown normally, so credit the defense by Bradley. Tavaninen struggled to shoot. He's been reluctant even to take shots. Yeah. Dean will let one go. Benzant all the way to the basket. Some acceleration to get to the rim. That's what the team's got to do. They got to get some flexion, steals, get out in transition. Both teams are laboring in the half court. Very physical. Bradley shooting 22.7 percent. That'll go down a little further. Two points for McGee off his 23-point contest an evening ago. Good catch by Robinson. Two pump fakes and a whistle. So let's go back and take a look at this previous block in the paint. Nice penetration. Darius Hanna, long arm. Boom, get out of here. Not on my watch. Darius Hanna, very talented young man. Wow. And he had seven Rumble. blocks on Saturday. Ago. Wow. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, very athletic. They get a little strong, as you mentioned, but very talented. They're playing great. The injuries to some of the other players on Rail. CBS Sports embraces authentic stories. Share yours at hashtag my native story. Shiloh Robinson, one of two. First ever meeting between Bradley and Liberty has been a low scoring first half. It's team found number five. Another player, James Pop Weathers. Right, not in the lineup right now for Bradley. We haven't heard, but I think something is sick and not feeling well. But he was trying to warm up before the game, coach. But we get to see him play. Yep. 
And here we go. There's Malabai Leons. Need him. him. Yep. The leading scorer coming into this tournament for Bradley. Very talented young man. Netherlands. Had three defenders jump out at him. Vinzant. Tabanina got his hands on it. Reset to 20 on the shot clock for the Flames. And a foul going against Liberty away from the basketball. We'll step out. The Flames and Coach McKay up to over Bradley. Beautiful Cancun. We'll be sorry to say goodbye here soon. Enjoying the Cancun Challenge, a consolation game, Bradley and Liberty. Going to take you back and look at some of the previous winners of this event. You'll notice the Bradley Braves were a winner in 2018. That 2019 West Virginia squad featured Oscar Sheepway. Of course, we didn't play it in 20. St. Louis, a winner a year ago. But coach, look at how these teams have propelled them from the championship to the postseason. A great stepping stone. Wichita State 2012 Final Four, Wisconsin Final Four, a couple of Sweet 16s, so it's a great barometer now how good your team is. And Auburn, we're going to see next game, 13th ranked in the country. You know, don't bet against them. They're terrific. They're better than 13th in the country, in my opinion, Brad. I don't know what you think. I think they will be, Coach. I'm with you. They're great defense. My team, they thought defense was a town in South America, so that's why I'm here with you. <laughs> We play better defense. I might still be <laughs> Coach, so far in this first half, I know you're seated, so I'll go ahead and say yeah. this. These teams have combined for one free throw and one three-pointer. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it's okay, it happens. But once again, whoever wins, it's like a Mona Lisa. It's like a, a chip treasure. No doubt. You don't want to come all the way to Cancun and go 0 2. Great trip, beautiful place, but you want to get a victory. Shot clock at two. Davis will fire. Is your belief that just a couple of good possessions might trigger some positive momentum for one of these teams offensively? Or right now is the defense too stifling? Yeah, great defense. <clears throat> when this struggles like this, Fred, you got to drive the basketball. Swing it side to side, put your head down and drive. Right, get to the free throw line. When you make some free throws, then the shots continue to fall much better. Porter. Not there much of a go. score, but he'll hit the triple. <laughs> Freshman point guard with three. He came on their 11th attempt from distance. Coach Wardle wants a timeout. Finally, his team will take one. We'll step out. A quick T.O. 12 on the shot clock. Liberty extending its lead to five. Hello. I saw you move in, and I wanted to welcome you to the neighbourhood with some homemade biscuits. Oh, that's so nice. And a little tip. Geico could help you save on homeowner's insurance. Oh. Cookies. Uh, biscuits. Mmm. Is there a little nutmeg in there? Oh, it's my mum's secret recipe. You can tell me. It's a secret. Is it cinnamon? It's my mum's secret recipe. Call Geico and see how easy saving on homeowners and condo insurance can be. I'll come back for the place. Fans having a good time here in Cancun. Meanwhile, coming up on AT&T at the half, Adam Zucker, Chris Walker, Roy Hibbert, and Gary Parrish will bring you all of the highlights of the day. Great week of college basketball around the country and here on CBS Sports Network. Coach McKay's team, Liberty Flames, up by five. Bradley called a timeout with 12 to shoot. Big two and a half minutes now. Bradley's got to try to get back into the game a little bit. That's the third foul on Linky, trying to set an illegal screen about to 25 feet from the basket. Yeah. Physical player, but you got to be smart. You can't move. To the point of emphasis in the last couple of years is Richie McKay. You mentioned he was assistant at Virginia for a while with Tony Bennett. Did a great job there. And, uh, University of New Mexico before that. He's a tremendous coach. Two terrific coaches 
tonight in this game? We asked him what he learned working with Coach Bennett, and I thought he got a great answer. He said consistency is his superpower. Yeah. You think about guys that are up and down, but uh, a consistent coach, even keeled. Yeah. And hey. I think Richie's pretty consistent himself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Richie is too. Tony Bennett, one of the best coaches in the country, and Richie McKay is outstanding also. Nearing the two-minute mark here in our first half. Nice back cut by Connor Hickman, his second field goal of the first half. I love watching him play. I love watching him play. From Bloomington, Indiana, the heart of the Hoosiers, University of Indiana. They could use him. And they get a terrific team this year, Indiana, but Hickman can play in a lot of places. He's the leader of the team. He's a sophomore for Bradley. McGee will hit. That's the first three-pointer of the game for Darius McGee. Gotta watch him now. He heats up. Getting physical in the paint. Flames trying to extend the six-point lead. Yep. Got to guard McGee now. He's feeling it. It's going up. Walk it down. It's going McGee, up. McGee, by the way, coached 385 in his career. He's trending towards 400. Wild attempt from Vinzant. One of the foul, none called. Good defense by Bradley. They're one of the top defensive teams in a terrific league, the Missouri Valley Conference. Every year, Bradley's up near the top, one or two in defense. This year is going to be no different. Hannah will flush with the left hand. There he is, Hannah rolling to the rim and scoring again. Nice job. He slipped the screen, which means instead of waiting for the dribble to come off the screen, he went right to the basket. The defense was a little sleep. Nice flush by Darius Hanna. Shot clock shut off. Preston will oh. flush on his own. And that should take us to the half. AT&T at the half. Coming up, the Liberty Flames with a six-point lead after one half of play. No surprise, Darius McGee getting it going with a shot from distance here in Cancun. CBS Sports presents AT&T at the half. AT&T 5G, fast, reliable, secure. All right, welcome into our New York studios. Adam Zucker here alongside Gary Parrish, Chris Walker, and our new friend, former Georgetown great Roy Hibbert here. Hey! Jazz hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> Thanksgiving hands. Gobble, gobble to you, sir. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Happy to be a part Great of the Great vibes. Great vibes from Roy Hibbert in uh, the time we've been hanging out so far. Uh, at the half here between Bradley and Liberty Seawalk. Low scoring? It's a football score. It's a football today or tomorrow. Football? It's like 23 to 17. You know what? Brian Wardle has a, a very good team coming back this year. They were young. Uh, they did a good job of retaining their players. And last year, uh, they had a, stall, a, a great season where they finished, you know, almost having a chance to make the NCAA tournament pick second this year. But they're not scoring right now. And they're playing against Richie McKay, who only last Last year, they haven't won the ASUN tournament, mm. and he plays that pack line defense. That's why they have 17 points. They got, I mean, that's why Bradley, I'm saying, has 17 points. They got to find a way to get some offense. Rich McKay is a, a really, really good coach. He's had a bunch of stops, and he's done a tremendous job at Liberty. Fighting for buckets right now. Yeah. Uh, great to be in Cancun. No doubt. want to want to leave with a win, of course. All right, we are at the half between Bradley and Liberty. Seawalk, it's Darius McGee. You know, he's been the A-Sun a -son player two straight years. Larry comes again, just doing what he does best from the corner pocket. 23-17, our score. A reminder, the championship game from Cancun comes your way next with 13th-ranked Auburn. Always fun to watch, taking on Northwestern. In beautiful Cancun, the Hard Rock Riviera Maya, and the Cancun Challenge. The Liberty Flames lead the Bradley Braves by six at the half at our consolation contest. Welcome again, courtside Brett Dolan and the coach Pete Gillen. The defense this coach have been playing extremely hard, but this has not been an offensive masterpiece. No, very physical game. Both teams excellent defense, but they're struggling. 
only three for 20 from three-point land. That's 15% my no math. So they got to drive the ball more, get to the free throw line. They got to balance it out a little bit. All right, give me another adjustment for each of these two teams. I know they've been spending about 10 minutes trying to find something that'll work to make this move. Bradley has not taken a free throw. They got to drive the ball once again, bring it side to side, put your head down and drive the basketball, get to the free throw line. And for Liberty, let the big dog eat. Get it to the big fella. Break Preston, eight points. Do one of the top games of his career. Get the ball to the big dog inside. Let him eat for Liberty. He's had a strong first half. Let's take a look at our first half stats. You see the shooting percentages again, not pretty. 29 for Bradley. A few more rebounds there for the Liberty Flames. Yeah. And there's the eight points for Preston, a big part of my Liberty. Leads by six at the half. Yeah, another thing, uh, the bench for Liberty better, 10 to five, so that helped them now. So uh, once again, we've got 20 minutes left, and the big key, Brett, as you know, is the first five minutes of the second half, and almost every game is crucial. So let's see if Bradley can now turn it up, see if Liberty can push ahead. Even more. And Liberty will control first to begin our second half here at the ballroom the Hard Rock Riviera Maya. McGee position in the corner. Five first half points for McGee. Quick release Boom. and a three to start the second half. Here we go. What Steph does. Step back three. And Reigns almost hit the ceiling here. The ball room. If you weren't with us last night, he made 142 three-pointers last year. That was the most in the nation, 26 more than the next closest, and good to see him off to a strong start in the second half. Darius McGee, tremendous shooter, one of the best guards in the country. Here he goes, way downtown. Defender was right in his face, doesn't matter. Feels like leather, it's going up. talked about the importance coach the first four or five minutes they get down a few more points for Bradley it's going to magnify these first few yeah. and it's good catch lost it off his knee possession Liberty they get a little stronger getting the body shot lift the weights talented young man basketball is a physical game now Certainly a few guys for Bradley playing more minutes than they would if Rink Mask was healthier, Deshaun Henry or Seek Montgomery. And considering they will start conference games on November 30th, they hope they get those guys back sooner than later. How about that block though by Hannah? Yep. They got it to the big dog, but couldn't eat. Just ended up easily in the hands of Vinzant. McGee. Couldn't keep that one down. Rebound to Connor Hickman. Leon's a good player. He's got to step it up a little bit. The senior. Oh, oh man. Bodies on the deck. Shiloh Robinson picks up his second. Hickman had the 13 points in the first half an evening ago, 15 for the game. Couple of field goals. Averaged about seven a contest last year as a freshman, but rolled an ankle back on Thursday. We watched him practice the other day to make sure he was going to be healthy enough to play last night. <clears throat> Dean took the bump and the foul from Porter. I like that. Bradley attacking the rim more, Brett. Keep going. They try to get to the, into the bonus. Right now, the threes are not falling. <clears throat> They're shooting 28% in the first half, so they, they got to change their strategy. Picked up three fouls in a couple of minutes. Oh. <clears throat> to have a nine and went down hard. <laughs> on Vinzant, his second. That's now four fouls on Liberty huh? for a Bradley team coach that did not shoot a free throw in the first half. Right? Nope. Got to keep doing it. Keep attacking the rim. 
Shots are not falling, so you got to make an adjustment. <laughs> Each game is a, a completely separate, unique situation. Brett, so when things aren't going one way, you got to have plan B, plan C. That ball was just about inbounded with <laughs> the gentleman cleaning <laughs> the perspiration off the floor. That would have been an obstacle. It would have been good if you used him as a screener. <laughs> Hickman, another foul on a screen, and Connor Linky picks up fouls like uh, you picked up checks at the all-inclusive resort. He's but a mangler. He's a mangler. It's all right. It's his job. Be physical. Be aggressive. <laughs> Four Should fouls. And he fouled out in about uh, 12 minutes. Should have been with me on the water slide. Oh. I, I'm still suspicious of this water slide story of yours. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to take you at face value. Yep. Vincent finds Porter. Hit a three earlier, and he's oh. going to get the shooter's roll. The rim is kind. He's a tight rim, so the rim was kind that time. Keep driving the ball, Brad. Attack the rim. Swing it quickly and drive. Don't shoot a jump shot unless you're wide open. Liberty enjoying its largest lead of the game. Leon's trying to work into the paint. That's a tough shot. It was deflected by Shiloh Robinson. <clears throat> Great defense by Liberty. Feels like a really dangerous stretch for the Bradley Bridge. McGee will reach double figures and have a chance for a three-point play. Tremendous drive, Darius McGee. Super talented, shake and bake, going left in traffic. When you go into the glass, Brett, use the glass with the left hand high off the glass. Forget about it. Coach, we talk about his three-point shooting, and that's legendary in his scoring. Certainly that 48-inch vertical jump and leap helps. There's some speed. There's some acceleration as well. Oh, lightning quick with the basketball. He can go through traffic, finish with either hand around the basket. Got good hops. When I played, I couldn't jump over a New York City phone book. Your phone books are pretty big, but I still can't jump over. <laughs> What's a phone book? <laughs> An 11-0 run to start the half. I really think in, in 10, 15 years, Darius McGee's going to be up on a stage talking to current kids talking about the transfer portal play on to a lay one in and you're going to have a guy who left after three or four years and then you're going to have Darius McGee and he's going to say you know what I had a chance to leave but when I go back to Liberty my uniform's in the Raptors when I come here fans want pictures with me he's leaving a legacy with one school you know great point Brett uh, the great school Liberty and he's a tremendous he loves his teammates he loves the, the school academically he's happy and we see Darius, 17-8 against Alabama, a very talented team. NC Central, 27-29, saw the miss the game I was at, and Northwest at 23. Great, great play, and the defense are always key on him every game. And he still gets his points up, so. Average 24.6 a year ago in that amazing campaign, more than 800 points scored. Bradley needs some mix. Now yeah. <laughs> behind is having a tough time. Good player, good shooter, but right now, can't get a hoop. Two for 17 in three-pointers his last couple of games before this one. Just trying to get something to fall. Meanwhile, Liberty extending that lead. McGee, the spinning three-point attempt. Oh. Someone's got to get the rebound. Yep. Liberty's crushing him on the boards. The late great Adolf Rupp said the team that controls the boards controls the game. Right now, Liberty's controlling the game. A big part of that is their rebound. Get, we'll step aside. Get Time out on the floor. Liberty up big over Bradley. Darius McGee of Liberty, 11 points. We saw him driving to the basket early, and all of a sudden, Coach, that has opened up some three-pointers as well. Yeah. He's scoring all three levels. He knocked down a three. Good mid-range game. And Steph Curry, a great arc, tremendous range. Ball moves in a can of worms when he was in the lane. Fabulous play. Selfless in nature, his coach said. Humble greatness and just marvels at how good he is. Two-time A-Sun Player of the Year. The preseason A-Sun Player this year. Last year's second in college basketball at 24.6 per game. 
812 points. And coach, again, he is just one game away, possibly from 400 career three-point makes. Unbelievable. And his team wins big, Brett. Some people score a lot of points, but they don't win. But his team wins big. Richard McKay is one of the best winning percentages in the last five years in college basketball. Most wins. Right up there with all the, the moguls. Could have gone to the professional ranks in Europe. Could have picked up big NIL checks, and he said he simply wanted to come back go to the NCAA tournament again with his team. Refreshing in today's day and age. That was a strong rebound by Leon's and a whistle. It's very unique. It is. Not many players of his caliber, as you mentioned, second best score in the country with 24 a game last year, would, would stay. But he loves Coach McKay, loves his teammates, loves the school. It's a great academic school. The athletic program is burgeoning. Now, I don't know what burgeoning means, but I know you're very smart. And uh, I think my producer said to use some big words with you. So I can connect. I like it. It's good. But uh, yeah, the football program's great at Liberty, and basketball has been great for a number of years. Brian Wardle here. Once again, uh, it's tough when you're down seven players, three starters. We mentioned before, He's a tremendous coach, great guy. He played at Marquette. Was an excellent player. Let's take a look at this previous play. We're going to look at a potential hook and pull. We had one of those. An evening ago. You see Malibu play on with Colin Porter. Yeah. This was a yep. point of emphasis a few years ago. You're really worried about shoulder injuries and yep. kind of clamping and holding. Right. The hook and hold. They're looking at it now. All right. Let's see if it's a violation. They're not sure yet. <clears throat> They do, two shot foul. Trying to get rid of the game. And flopping, Red, as you know, is a big emphasis this year. We've not teams. seen one of those, uh, Pete, and let's take one more look to see if we've got that clamp, that hold. Yeah. Yeah, the little guy trying to hold the big guy. I mean, I, I it think looked that's like Colin Porter was holding me. Yeah. A great camera crew. We flew them in from all over United States, Europe, Caribbean. Great camera work. And officials again: John Floyd, Jeff Spadaski, and Michael Griffith. Going to get an explanation. Oops. Just going to be a common foul, and that was because. There was a release. Right. Play to let go. Didn't, he didn't completely clamp. He didn't keep right. He didn't hook and hold for an extended period. Fouls on zero. Colin Porter from Liberty. Common foul. What a moisture perspiration on the court. Yep. Warm day in Cancun. Beautiful day. Isn't every day beautiful here in Cancun? Almost everyone, yeah. The grading on the curve, they're all pretty similar. Yeah. <laughs> pretty outstanding. Hickman, free throw line, floater. Oh, and I got a hand on it, but knocks it out of bounds. Yeah. And I've got this one, Coach. It's away. You got it. You got good hands. Uh, Hickman, great night last night, struggling this evening. A couple of field goals, four points. This was an 11-0 run to begin the second half by the Flames as they got a little bit of separation, making things even more difficult. Hanado with the takeaway, the spin, the pump fake, the hook, and the follow! Melavai, Leons! The defense got their offense going. That's what they got to do. Coach Wardle fighting with his players, encouraging them to keep fighting. The ball does not leave the hands of McGee very often. Nope. <clears throat> yep. What you got to do? Offense not clicking at half court. Defense got to get it going. Deflection, steals, block shots. And the Whoa. fadeaway shot will fall by Warfield. The officials immediately going to the monitor to see if he got that off and beat the shot clock. And we had a couple of nail biters yesterday where that ball's just either on the fingers or leaving the fingers. Yep. Let's see if this counts from Moorfield. Close. It's like 
13.48 to play in the consolation game. Northwestern and Auburn will be in our championship contest of the Cancun Challenge, about 30 plus minutes or so following the conclusion of this one. Let's take a look at the replay. See if Isaiah Warfield got this shot off in time. I'm wondering if he walked before he got that shot off. Yep. yep, yep, good job by the officials. Still in his hands and not quite released it. So it's back to an 11 point game. It's hard to imagine Pete to be almost seven minutes into the second half, sitting here with 21 points, and you're still in this game. Yep, no, a long way to go now. Big possession for the Bradley Brave. Duke Dean tries to get the step. There was a little bit of contact, but not enough. Bradley, again, has yet to shoot a free throw in the game. Yeah, that's not good. <clears throat> McGee, hard bounce pass caught by Preston. Three Braves around him, and it was last touched by Bradley. Liberty ball, 10 to shoot. Bum Liberty, I'm keep going into Preston. I don't think they have an answer for him, Brett. Big, strong, physical guy. Post up. Quick catch, and Robinson oh. had that spin out. So again, Bradley still hanging around, still in this game, hoping for a little bit of run, something to fall offensively. Way off the mark for Hickman. We get the threes. They're not falling right now. Drive the basketball. That's your wide, wide open. Field wasn't expecting that pass and a turnover by Porter and the Flames. <clears throat> Freshman point guard will be a good player. He's got a lot to learn. It's a big step up from high school to major college division one basketball. Duke Dean finds Hannah. A little pretty left handed hook. <laughs> Young man from Milwaukee that didn't have a lot of offers, but someone that just kept getting better and better after he was an injury in high school to an ACL his junior year. He's getting a little more playing time with some of the injuries. He's going to stay on the floor as this is now a nine-point game. Yep. Duke Dean is a key guy now, the point guard to Bradley. I think he can go by the freshman. I think he can go by Porter. Hey, that's an easy path to the rim. First basket for Dugin. And Liberty's been scoreless for almost five minutes, giving Coach Wardle's team a chance to cut further into this seven-point deficit. You're hanging around, playing good D. Offense getting a little better. Take your time now, Liberty. Go inside to the big fella. Let him touch it. Oh, your superstar might take the jumper. He almost giving up a foot in size. But wide open from the baseline. You got to find number two. They're working that play every day. Throw the ball up to the ceiling, right. deflect it, kick it to the corner. They Three. executed it perfectly, didn't they? Yep. Throw it up to the roof. How about that? My guy Dean. Had scored all night. Pete Gillen and back-to-back -back field goals for Duke Dean. Because he's driving the ball to the basket. Forget the three. Put the three in the suitcase. Send it back to Peoria. Unless you're wide open. Nine minutes gone here in our second half. That was a pass that threaded the needle to Preston. Three Braves around him. And we're going to break. McGee's the game. Jump shot. Nice deflection. Get it back to him. Way downtown. Splash. One of the best guards in the country here in Cancun at CBS Sports Network. Get ready for some college hoops in the Sunshine State. It's another edition of the Emerald Coast Classic. There is the triple. Friday on CBS Sports Network.
tonight at 10.30 Eastern. This year's SoCal Challenge closes out with Minnesota and UNLV in the championship game. Then at 1 a.m., California Baptist and Southern Illinois square off for third place right here on CBS Sports Network. And the Minnesota Golden Gophers had to sneak by Cal Baptist by a point. Justin Garcia had the winning shot with 6.8 to play. Are you going to be up at 1 a.m. for the consolation game? Uh, the SoCal no. Challenge? No. No. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm not yet. I pulled my oblique muscle. <laughs> I don't know where my oblique yeah, muscle is, well, but I pulled it going down the water slide. I have no idea what that has to do with you not being up at 1 a.m., but nonetheless, <laughs> hey, there's Preston. There we he go. just threw that thing off the glass. Let the big dog eat. Get it to the big fella. Double figures for Blake Preston. I don't think I've seen a player bank a shot in from two inches away and just hammer it off the glass, but it worked. It counts. It, well, line drives in the book. Keep attacking the rim. Well, Coach, you told him to put that three-point shot in his suitcase, and he launched one but missed. Yeah, halfway down. I like Duke Dino. Tough, gutty little guy. <laughs> Keep driving the basketball. Right now, the perimeter shots aren't going. <clears throat> Once again, you're playing back-to-back, -back, two games in two days, right? Throughout the pool, swimming, water slides, kayaking, et cetera. So you, maybe your legs are not with you completely. And shooting, big key to shooting are your legs. Dean That's fouled right. before yep. the shot. And for the first time tonight, the Bradley Braves will go to the free throw line. Almost 30 minutes of game action before they get to the strike. Yep, long time, but I love what they're doing right now, especially Dean. Tack the basket. Make the refs call it. Bradley's going to have a good year, though, I think, in the Missouri Valley Conference, which is a tremendous conference. I mean, how about them adding Murray State and Belmont and UIC? That's a great addition. Lost to Leo Chicago, fine program, but I think they gained that. Three quality teams coming in. Chicago market, Brett, what's your thoughts? It's a great conference. It's a lot of fun to just watch the competition there in the heartland, maybe in the shadow a bit of the Big Ten, but you know, they're just trying to get multiple teams in that NCAA tournament. Exactly. Great coaching, a lot of it's good half-court D, physical play, but excellent basketball. Lucky from deep. Big possession now. Braves are down eight, got to get a good shot. Leons. McGee, the smallest man on the court, just about gathered in the rebound. It'll be, though, Liberty basketball. Shoot threes. You speak of the Valley, though, Coach, last year, this Bradley team swept Drake, the preseason pick. And, of course, Bradley comes in second and a lot of good rivalries. I know for Bradley, they love to go up against Illinois State, a team we saw a year ago. They like to say those teams are separated by 40 miles and a lot of hate. A lot of hate. <laughs> I-74 rivalry, Brett. I love the Midwest. Great people in the Midwest. They love basketball. Friendly. You say hello to them, they say hello back. Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> if you got a problem, <laughs> want to fight you? <laughs> Been busy shoveling snow this past week. Yeah. McGee just oh. lost that ball. Somehow he got it back, creating shot clock a factor, and that'll be a violation. Bradley's right. hanging around, down eight. Richard McKay, nice and calm. He is calm, but I got to believe on the inside, this oh, game yeah. is it. just stomach, churning those no stomach question. muscles. Stomach's churning. I used to hitch and twitch and bleed from the eyes. It wasn't pretty. Get the ball to Dean. That's it. Attack, attack, young man. Rebound to Shiloh Robinson. Each empty possession for Bradley just takes another 30 seconds or so off the clock. Yep. Liberty's taking their time, running their offense. You got a superstar on their team. McGee, quick release. Oh! And another three ball. <laughs> 
17 for McGee. Tremendous player. Quick release, like Steph Curry. Play Throw it home, home, big guy. Throw it home. Surrounded by three flames. Get the ball to him. He's off the screen in the baseline. Catch and shoot. Bang. Quick release, like Steph Curry. Bottom. Coach, is it the continuous movement that allows him to get open? Because obviously every scouting report says find number two. Yep, well, it's good execution by Liberty and comes off screens. As we mentioned just before, quick release. He gets rid of it so fast. He jumps high, he steps back when he has to. Whatever he's got to do, he does, but he's a tremendous player. But he's got to continue to get help. Now, I love the way that, uh, you know, Preston has stepped up today. Done a great job helping him out. Lake Preston, 6'9", Richard Senior from Charlotte, North Carolina. One of the best games of his career. Leon's the first brave at a double figure. So McGee with the ball. And pending something wild here in the final eight minutes. In the next game he plays, he'll go over 2,000 points, over 400 three-point makes. Yeah. A tremendous player. Whoa! He's hit three triples. I didn't see that coming. Young man from Alabama. Did not score a night ago. Nine points on 3-3. Three, three. Get the ball to Dean. Have him attack. Play on. So we'll oh. spin one in. He's persistent. Gonna keep shooting, which is good. Down nine. Seven minutes and change to play, nine point yep. game. Yep. Oh, trying to work in against Tabanainen. Oh. How about the triple from Kyle Road? Timeout. The Cancun Challenge. Liberty and Bradley battling with our championship game coming up a little bit later. It'll be Auburn and Northwestern from the Hard Rock Riviera Maya. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Triple Crown Sports, celebrating 40 years of event excellence. By Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya, an all-inclusive experience. And by Bon Voyage DMC, the official transportation provider of the Cancun Challenge. 12-point game in our third place contest. Coach Gillen, let's revisit your keys to the game. Well, Bradley locked down. Darius McGee not doing that. 17 points. Still got plenty of time left. 651. And uh, for Liberty, spread the wealth. Rest of the team, 29 points. But I love the way Preston's playing. The big fella. He's doing a good job. The big guy inside, like Preston. So uh, I think they're spreading the wealth a little bit. They're going to share the sugar a little bit more. Look at this. Good life. I see you out there, Coach, at the pool. But no. uh, that's probably when you were at the water slide. But it's been... Mid 80s, beautiful weather as always here Good. in Cancun. Yeah, no, I was at the water slide, then going into the weight room, working on my, my pythons, my arms. Almost none of that sounds true, but I'll take <laughs> no, your word for it. No, I got a, a gun show coming up in a, <laughs> a couple of months with my arms. I got to represent. Christian Davis, maybe having a bit of a breakthrough game. Another triple on eight points for the sophomore from Denver. Hanging around, down nine. Got to get a stop. Got to get a good shot now, Liberty. This is where Liberty's had some success. Just in the second half, they've gone six of ten from beyond the arc. That's been a bit of a backbreaker. Foul on Duke Dean. Another timeout. We'll step aside and be right back to Cancun for the Cancun Challenge. Like an Oklahoma land rush, the Auburn fans are already staking their claim to the best seats they can get, awaiting their Auburn Tigers for the championship game against the Northwestern Wildcats 30 or so minutes after the conclusion of this game. And 
Coach, I know everybody excited to see this outstanding Auburn team. Tremendous team. Ranked 13th in the country. Associated, I think they're a top 10 team. Great players. Wendell Green Jr., the point guard. Leading scorer coming into the tournament. Uh, Janai Broom, wow. 14 points. The wrecking machine in the low post. He rebounds. He blocks shots. He's a, really a tremendous inside player transfer from Moorhead State. So you got to stick around and watch it on W on CBS Sports Network. All right, put a toothpick in your eyeballs, get a cappuccino, and watch the game. <laughs> Robinson twisting, Kearney scoring, and a chance for one more. First field goal of the game. Yep. Extends this lead again for Liberty. Yep, Jano press a nice pump fake, up and under, step through. Bunch of moves, nice finish for the young man. Shiloh Preston. Shiloh Robinson, excuse me. Call him a Six, three seven, and D guy, but uh, able to get that three-point play at the rim. 12-point cushion for the Liberty Flame. Yep. <clears throat> Leons came to that jump stop and then had to throw up a ball towards the rim. Maybe just got going too fast. Coach Wardle <clears throat> disputing the call, frustrated. Without three starters, he's a terrific coach. But it's tough when he comes with half a deck threat, you know what I mean? Playing these quality teams like Auburn and Liberty. They're going to be fine. They're going to get these other young men back in a couple of weeks. I think they're going to be fine. They pick second or third preseason, depending on which poll you look at. In the Missouri Valley. I think Mask would be the first back, then who knows about Zeke Montgomery. Curiosity with Deshaun Henry. His concussion issues still in concussion protocol as of yesterday. Throw to spin. Back tap rebound comes out to Porter. You don't think McGee would shoot from that spot, do you? I mean, he could. Just inside the midcourt stripe. Unlimited range. We're going to find out. Boy, he gives it up to Porter. Surprised McGee gave up that basketball. Liberty is crushing Bradley on the glass. So second reset already of the shot clock in this sequence. They're going to take more than a minute off the clock. Amazing, no? Clock's their best friend right now. And the second best friend, boom, get in. You oh. got to find. Two. He got all of the shooters roll on that bounce, and it fell through. Rim was kind. Rim knew who was shooting. He knew that was one of the best shooters, alive, dead, or yet to be born. Darius McGee, tremendous shooter. Remember the name. He's got game, Darius McGee. Darius McGee, five three-point makes, 20 points. And coach, I've heard about a shooter's roll. This seems to be the absolute epitome of getting every single bounce. Exactly. Way up, elevation, the follow through. Come on, the rim knows. It's a great shooter. Here we go. 17-8 against the great Alabama team in 27, 29, 23. Uh, tremendous player. 20 tonight right now. <clears throat> One of the best guards in college basketball, Darius McGee. Four straight 20-point games. And a foul. His bodies hit the deck. Kyle Rode, angry. An expression as well of disbelief by Warfield. Hands on heads on the Liberty sideline. Just to finish the thought though on Darius McGee, coach, that's a player the world needs to see in March. Now you're right, Brett, no question. I love to watch him, a little guy with a big heart and a big, big game. Kind of linky, his first point of the game. And the rebound down to McGee. Little trapping zone, two, three trapping zone by Bradley. One too many passes. McGee picks it up, and I thought 
he might bring the house down. Good play, though, by Road to knock that one off Tavaninen and keep it in Liberty's possession. The bench, yep, the bench is going crazy now for Liberty. Great hustle. Look at that. Road with a great play. Tavaninen, a nightmare for this young man here. Cancun having a tough time. Very good player, right? Just not having a couple of good nights. He just really struggled to find his shot. A miss from McGee. Inside four minutes in our consolation game. Liberty inching a little bit closer to sneaking out of Cancun with the win after yep. losing to Northwestern last night. Yep. So important to finish with a win. Conference plays right around the corner. No such thing as an ugly win as the coach. Nope. Like a Rembrandt or a Mona Lisa if you win a game. Who cares? Shot clock's at three. Leons leans through a double team. Quick shot by Hickman. And again, now the Flames bleeding even more time off the clock. No hurry to bring it into the offensive end. 2-3 zone, the plane is on a trap out of it. Not just to sit back, you want to trap, get a steal. Liberty does a nice job passing around it, get the ball to the free throw line. Get it to your star. Christian Davis got that rebound on a bounce. Been a nice night for Davis. He spun out that three-point attempt, and again, Liberty content to run a little more clock in their offensive end. 20-point game for Darius McGee. 12 points away from 2,000. Probably won't see that tonight, but another chapter, another verse in his incredible Liberty college basketball career. Road with the miss. Strong rebound to Hickman. Davis spinning. Finds Hannah with the left hand. He'll score. Bradley wants a timeout. Right now, Liberty's on a roll. Twelve-point lead for the Liberty Flames. Two minutes and change to go. Coming up on Inside College Basketball, Adam Zucker, Chris Walker, Roy Hibbert, and Gary Parrish. We'll get you up to date on all the basketball buzz from around the nation. Liberty inching a little bit closer to a consolation win, and Richie McKay's team struggled in the second half last night, but trying to get a win this evening. And you know, Liberty and, and Coach McKay, they have been as supportive as they possibly can for an in-state institution, the Virginia Cavaliers, after the tragedy and the shooting. And I thought Coach McKay was very eloquent. Pete, when he said, I'm so thankful I get to do life with my guys. You never want to take for granted the time you get together. It's just a reminder to, to celebrate the, the time you get with loved ones, your teammates, and I think it was great perspective from Coach McKay. Yeah, it's great. Every day's a gift. Every day's a treasure. Every day's a blessing. Coach McKay, spiritual guy, terrific, terrific young coach, and he's had a great career. Dean can hit. I know you live in Charlottesville, and it's been a very difficult stretch for that community. And yep. hopefully they can find some healing at this tough yep. time. It's terrible. Terrible situation. Three young men, time of their life. All quality young guys. Reading about them. Very sad. Liberty trying to find a way to get to their third win of the season. Has a bit easy tonight, but uh, in the 11-0 run to start the second half kind of triggered this opportunity to get the W. Yep. Ryan Wardle still coaching, not giving up. Compete to the end. 40-minute game. Robinson the catch, fouled by Hannah. I think that's number five, and it is. That'll do it for Darius Hanna, eight points for the junior from Milwaukee. 
Which we played very well for Bradley with the injuries to people we talked about, the starters. So Hannah's had a chance to play and he's done very well. He's got to get a little stronger. The junior. One eleven to play. Northwestern Auburn coming up a little bit later in our championship game here from Cancun. Shot clock at five. Rebound to Hickman. And Leon's is fouled. Well, for Thanksgiving and for the holidays, we'll wish health upon this Bradley team. Get some of their key components back so they can be ready for Missouri Valley Conference play. Yep. And pick second and third, depending on the poll. Preseason, the Missouri Valley Conference. But when you're playing without some of your top guys, Rick Mass, first team preseason all league in the Missouri Valley. Right? Zeke Montgomery, a terrific player, and sadly Deshaun Henry, three started terrific players. But Brian Wall is a tremendous coach. He's done a great job at Bradley. Uh, he's been there now. It's his eighth year. Won the Missouri Valley Tournament a couple of times. <clears throat> so the Braves will be fine. He's got to get healthy. Everybody's going deep here. Maybe a couple of post routes in as well. Looking for a heave down court. Maybe a touchdown pass. A foul instead with 40.3 to play. And probably worth repeating. I know the rest of the A Sun would like to take their turn at winning the tournament. Liberty would like to win their last A Sun championship. But if Darius McGee gets a chance to put up one of his big games in March Madness, then a few people that haven't been exposed to his career, his ability, his story will get a chance to witness it. Great point, Brett. Uh, he's, he's electric. He's worth admissions and he's a very humble young man and quality young man. So a great player. Like you said before, you mentioned early in the broadcast. So many other players of his talent would have gone to a, a big power five school, right? With the NIL money and everything else. But he loved Liberty, loved his coach, Rich McKay, his teammates, the school. And they didn't make a big dance last year. He wants to go back. And don't bet against them. Leon's with the drive. And I, and I know a lot of guys will say, I want to get that NIL money, but I think the reputation, the, the career legacy was more important for McGee. And I got to believe there might be a few other people inspired by his story. 11 point lead for Liberty and now time for our Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya all inclusive play of the game. Alley oop inside to the big fella. Lake Preston throw it to the big dog. Good ball movement. Let the big dog eat. The big dog throw it home Blake. Throw it home. 10 point game for Preston. Married to a volleyball player at Liberty Amelia. I think she's here on this trip. A few of the family members have found a way to get here to Cancun when possible to enjoy this experience. <laughs> Thirty one point nine to go. Boy no quit in the break. Yeah you gotta love that. I'm just thinking that Brett you know and uh, they keep competing. Now they want to foul. Game's over. But, hey. On a few seconds, ticking off the scoreboard clock here in Cancun. Disappointing night against Northwestern Liberty. Bouncing back this evening, kicking care of business and defeating the Bradley Braves 55 to 44. Might actually have four tenths of a second left on that shot clock violation. <laughs> Bradley will inbound one more time. Coaches meet for a handshake and a hug at midcourt. We can probably inbounds this ball at any time. You <laughs> run off the final four tenths. And now it's a five. Richie McKay's Liberty Flames win at 55 to 44. One more game to go. 
in Cancun at the bottom of the hour. Pete, it'll be the Auburn Tigers and Northwestern Wildcats. Should be a great game. Two Power Five programs, Auburn from the SEC, Northwestern from the Big Ten. Both teams undefeated. I think it's going to be great. We'll be right back and wrap things up from our consolation game in Cancun, the Liberty Flames. Take down the Bradley Braves. <laughs> 